Hello and welcome to another budget and legged video. Now today we're going to be showing you how to bleed any diesel car. It's a question I get asked an awful lot, how to bleed a diesel car. Some of them can be an absolute nightmare, but with this diesel fuel syringe. Now, CTA was very kindly to send me this. I'll leave all the links down below. Been wanting one of these for a long, long time. This is the diesel one. There's loads of ones out there, you know, for oils and all different types of stuff, but this is the diesel version. We're gonna show you how to use it. I'm obviously gonna be using it on this Ford Mondeo behind me, but it, it's more or less exactly the same on any other car, except the connections might be slightly different, which I'll go through the connections. But apart from that, it's gonna be the same procedure on, you know, most cars. Modern diesel engines can be a nightmare to bleed. With this, not only can we bleed the system, we can also check the fuel to see how it looks because fuel can get contaminated and you know, you very rarely actually check your diesel fluid or your diesel fuel because it's kind of difficult. But with this, we'll be able to actually do it. And especially on these cars behind me with the Delphi system in, they do suffer with, you know, if you have bad diesel, they can get all metal bits in and all that sort of stuff. So with something like this, it's really good to actually check the state of your diesel to make sure it's good. So let's run through what you get in the kit and we'll show you how to use it. Sorted! That wasn't supposed to hit the camera. Now, this is the Mondeo. This is the 2.2 ST version, but this is the diesel filter. This is a genuine filter. I would recommend 1 million percent on these type of systems to get a genuine diesel filter or a, a genuine filter or a genuine Delphi filter. This is the genuine Ford filter. It just has an extra layer of protection inside it. Believe me, for the extra couple of quid, well worth it. Now let's get into the actual syringe. We have the main body of the syringe here. And it's good for a couple of things. Just gonna put the actual, oh, let's get this back on it first. It's good for diesel fluid and also annoying a pit bull. So there we go. <laughs> right, so this is the main body of the syringe and what I really like about it, there's actually a lock on this. So once you screw this on properly, you can see that there's an actual lock. So if you've got fluid in here, it's not gonna drip out. You can leave fluid in here. You know, it's just handy when you suck out through. Having the lock, believe me, is really handy. You can just see that there. So what we also get is loads of different connections depending on your car we have straight connections we have connections if you just want to push into your, oh, if you just want to push into your pipe different size connections for different size pipes everything this is the 70 72k this is the master kit for this one brilliant um Brilliant piece of kit and great loads of connections. It's like everything, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. To fill your diesel filter, you can have a, you know, a, a container on the ground, suck out the diesel of the container and then suck it back into the filter. The problem with doing that is, like I said, you can't check your fuel. Once you push out the fuel in this, once I unlock it, and you've connected this to your tank and you pull out the fluid, you can physically check the fluid to make sure there's no bits in it, to make sure it looks good, to make sure there's no contaminants, no water, anything like that. So that's why I like to suck it from the actual tank because you can test the diesel. Also on the side of it, I forgot to mention, this is a 1.5 litre syringe and you have the measurements on the side. So if you know exactly what it takes, you can suck up just the right amount of diesel. What you need to do is find out which connection you need. And there's a couple of ways of doing it, depending on how you're actually doing it. The way I'm gonna be doing it is sucking it from the tank and then pushing it into the diesel filter. And as you can see on the diesel filter, we have arrows. So we have an arrow coming in, which means it's coming in from the tank. We have an arrow pointing out, which means it's coming out to the engine. And then we have a little one on the side, which is a return. So what I need to do is I need to find this connection here, which is the fluid coming in from the tank. And I need to connect 
this syringe to that suck out the diesel and we're going to fill this from from the coming in arrow and even if you even if you suck out too much it's not a problem because it's just going to return back to the tank so that's not an issue you don't have to suck out the exact amount just suck out loads push it all in and it will return back anyway so you, you there's no set limit always a good thing just to make sure the bottom is tight because not necessarily they always are and they can leak now unfortunately this is not the easiest one to see I'll just take this out of the way. Just hopefully we can see a bit more. This is my diesel filter down here. All you need to know is it's exactly the same as this one. And the one way of doing it is rotate it to the same way as that's pointing. So I now know that this far pipe here is the coming from the tank. The middle pipe is feeding the engine and the end pipe is the return. And you can tell that from your old filter. Very simple. Now, Depending on what filter you've got, we have these kind of white clips. And I'm not going to be able to show you because there's just no room. But all you need to do is push in the two ends of the white clip. And what happens is then the white tab comes out. You can see that. I'll show you. How, I'll try and show you anyway. There's just not enough room. This white tab comes out. I'm hopefully you can see that. I'll push this back in. So I push that back in, you push these two tabs in together, which then releases, and I can't do it now, <laughs> which releases the tab, pull the tab out completely, and that will get you the pipe out. And the good thing is, now we know which pipe it is, we can use this filter to know what connections we need. First thing we need to do is make sure our syringe is tight. Push it all the way down to the bottom because we're actually sucking out. Get the connection we need. Now, I'd say it's going to be this one. Push it into the end. Make sure it clips in. As you can see, that's clipped in. Now we need the adapter to fit from here to our pipe just here. And we have this one here and it says Ford 12 mil male. So I think it's this one. If not, it's going to be one of these. So we'll open this one first and we'll check this one. It'll be a lot easier and a lot clearer on your car. So I'm just going to push this on here first. And this is the wrong connection. So we know that. I'm guessing it's just going to be this straight connector pipe, which is in the other packet. That push, oh no. That pushes to this one. There we go. Now, unfortunately, you don't necessarily need these connections. It's just because the way... I have to do it because this one is just in an awkward position for me the way these pipes are set so we'll click that in we'll click this into our syringe and there we go we have our setup now i'm going to try and get the camera so you can see everything at once so bear with me a second okay i think that's it so what i'm going to do is just pull it's going to create suction as you can see As you can see, we've drawn diesel out already, but I'm gonna need, I want a bit more. So I'm just going to keep pulling. Just like that. Lock it off. So it's locked off. I can now disconnect this. And I suppose the easiest way, locked it off straight away. Let's unlock it. Draw the diesel in, and now I'm going to lock it. There we go. So, very, very simple. I shouldn't have locked that off first, but anyway, there you go. That's not going to come out now. That's completely locked off, so it's not going to drip out. But what you can actually do now is, as you can see, you can actually look at that. And I can see that diesel is absolutely perfect. There's no bits of metal in it. There's no bits of crap in it. Because if there's metal in it or if there's crap in it, you can kind of do something else. If, let's say your car is hard to start or it's not running great and you might think, well, it's just my diesel filter that's blocked. Well, once you actually take the diesel out, you can check in. If you see this is all contaminated, got water and got bits in, then you most probably know it's not just your diesel filter. You might have another issue. So you can kind of take your diagnosis further from there. But if everything is fine like this, I now know I can put my new diesel filter in place all I need to do, 
I could literally do it here now, but I'm going to do it in place. Connect this to that and squirt that diesel, oh, squirt that diesel back into it. This is not going to be airlocked. It's going to start straight away. Everyone's going to be happy. So I really like the fact you can check your diesel. And I think, you know, it's not just, these, these are kind of sold just as a, a syringe and it's easy to, you know, fill your diesel filter. But I like the fact that you can actually check your diesel because that is vitally important. Um, and that diesel is perfect. This is obviously a good thing because this is my car. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to show you it. I'm just going to unclip the other two pipes. I'm going to slide this one in place and then I'm going to show you how to put the diesel in. We're going to start this and we're going to see what happens. Sorry. Here is my old filter. This was a Delphi filter. But do not be tempted to try and pour the diesel out of this into your new filter. There's a really good chance there's going to be a little bit of water in here, condensation and all that sort of stuff. There's going to be a bit of crap in there because it's a filter at the end of the day. So just chuck this away. Do not try and take the fuel out of this filter. With the syringe, you can actually pull the diesel out of this filter, which I will show you after I've done all this, to actually maybe check the inside of your filter. That's kind of a good idea, but don't reuse the fuel. It kind of makes sense, but don't reuse the fuel. Okay, so I have the syringe set up, and as you can see, what I've done is, all I've done is put the return on, I've left this pipe out, and the reason is, I just want to wait till diesel starts coming out of here. Then I'm going to push that on and push the rest of the diesel in. So I'm going to set the camera up now so you can see that happening. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it where you can see the syringe and everything, but I'll try my best. I hope you can see this. So unlock it, push it in. Just take your time, because there's going to be more diesel in here than I need. Well, I think so. Oh, there we go. Now, we're coming out. See, we're pushing out a load of air. So I'm just going to keep going until that your diesel comes out, not just air. That's still air. Still air. Loads of air. Now we're coming to diesel. Push this back in. Oh, sorry, push this one back in because that's the so push this one back in, which is the feed to the engine. Can be awkward. Now that's in. I'm going to push the rest of the diesel into it, which is now going to feed the engine. So if there's any air in the system, this is going to take it out. So push the rest of the diesel in. So there we go, that's all in. Lock the top. Disconnect this, which is going to be a bit awkward on camera. Handy to have a flat blade screwdriver. Push the connection in. I can do this. Pull this out. And there we go. Put that connection on, start it. Job's done, sort it. What I should have done with the syringe, to be fair, I should have turned the syringe on the top and forced the fuel in. I would have stopped a lot of air coming out. It's not a problem, we've got the air out, but you should really have the syringe up. It's just trying to do it all on camera is kind of awkward, but that's what I would advise you to do. So, now just make sure the little clip is still out. It's turned in the right way. Push that down. Make sure it clips, push the clip in, and there we go. Now, wipe your hands. And we can start this bad boy. So there we go, even using this wrong in the sense of I had it on the flat rather than like that, it still did it. No bleeding, no nothing, takes a couple of seconds and it's so much easier. Believe me, if you've ever been there for, you know, 
an hour, a couple of hours, you need two people, one person starting it, another person's undoing the injectors and waiting and then locking the injectors off. It's a nightmare. You can destroy your battery, you can overheat your start motor, I've seen it. With something like this, so, so simple. And like I said, the fact that I like you get to see your diesel. What I'm gonna do, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna suck out the diesel from the filter and we are going to um, have a look at it. Now, if you do do that, what I do suggest is you undo the top here, you take this completely out, which I will show you, and you clean this afterwards because if you do get a lot of crap from your diesel filter, there's no point leaving it in here and your next one you do, you push it all back in. Really, after every use, just quickly take it out and give it a wipe, you know, very, very easy. So let's get this set up and see what happens out of this diesel filler. Right. I'm gonna put it on the one going out, doesn't really matter. Um, what I really should have done first is push that all the way down because I did lift it up. Okay, there we go. Unlock it, it be a bit awkward, and suck out the diesel. Hope you can see this. Suck out as much, oh well, that's all of it really. A bit of it's going back, so let's just shut that off. Right, now, I didn't get it all out, but as you can see, I got a lot of it out, and again, might not come dunk, it looks kind of dirty on camera, but believe me, it's not. And, absolutely perfect. I'm really, really happy with that. Now, I over-service my engine anyway, I change everything between three to 5,000 miles, everything regardless, no matter what. And believe me, it benefits because as you can see, that is absolutely perfect. That diesel filter is designed to last 10, 15,000 miles, but no, three to 5,000 miles. And as you can see, that is brilliant. But the beauty of this is, like I said, if you're having, sorry, I keep getting interrupted, but yes, you know, if your car is hard to start and everyone just thinks, oh, it's my diesel filter, I haven't changed in a while, it must be blocked. Not necessarily. And this is why you can check your fuel for contamination. So something like this is fantastic. When you use scan tools and when you use all them other tools, you don't look at the diesel. I'm kind of guilty of this too. You know, you flick, you turn a scan tool on, it self-primes, starts the car on your way. But you haven't checked the fuel and the fuel is important because there could be contaminants in it. You could also see something which could save the customer or save yourself an absolute fortune if you can catch it. So, always good to check your diesel and with this baby, you can. So this is the one and a half litre syringe from CTA Tools and I appreciate them for sending it to me. It is a fantastic piece of kit. You'll be seeing this a lot more on my channel because I've been wanting one for a long time. They also do, well, they do loads of stuff, so the website and everything will be down there, but they also do syringes for um, oils and all that type of stuff, for, you know, for filling gearboxes, for filling diffs, for filling everything. You know, some, a syringe like that is just, you know, fantastic. So there we go, people. Look, that is how to bleed any diesel car. So easy. You get one of these, believe me, you will not regret it because it's a thing you will always be using. It really is as simple as that, you know. You will always be using this. Even if you only work on your own diesel car. If you've ever been there, praying that you had someone else there with you to turn the car while you're spraying God knows what in the engine and doing God knows what else. With this baby, you can do it on your own. You can do it in seconds. Sorted! So look, hope it helps, thumbs up, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Don't forget, links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted!